Hey, 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 everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lobo. The channel is called Zoo PF Visual Effects. Guys, this is a visual effects channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, if you dig, like and sub. If you are a visual effects artist, I know you already know how to do this, and you might even do a far better job. But if you're still in a few tricks and trades from me, totally cool too okay guys this is part two of our trilogy of tutorials right here the first one was teaching you guys how i did this and i created all these obj's and these cool meshes and stuff in blender and it's all for you to use for free okay now we're gonna create this scene right here that's tutorial number two and the last one will be this one right here with no further ado, I'm going to pause this and minimize that and get right into it, guys. Because if you've already watched part one, there's no need for us to do introductions and things like that. Let's quickly jump into our composition right here. And we're going to call that Master Ocean Scene Top View. 4K for me or 1080p for you guys. Make sure you keep it at 24 frames. Click OK. Once you are here, what oh, what we have to do here is make it 4K, which is 3840. There you go. And then we'll go down to layer, new, solid. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's happening here? That's more like it. 4K. And again, it's just ocean scene from top view. There you go. And click OK. Once you are here, let's go down to Effect, Video Code, Pilot, and Element. And then click Scene Setup. It's going to take us to the interface. That's where we want to be. From here, click here. Double click on that. Click Ocean. Click OK. And the first tutorial we brought the obj sequences in because we wanted um, some real-time movements on the ocean but this time we just want the mesh itself and so instead of doing import 3d sequences we're just doing import and just click on any of these and it's fine i'm gonna click on the first one once you're here click ok there it is it looks just like this undo the draft texture so we can see that's higher resolution now I'm quickly going to show you guys the texture, but I'm not going to do anything with it because I just want you guys to know. In your folder that I created for you guys, in the ocean section, there are three types of texture. The first one that we used was this one, and that was for the first tutorial, which is a dark blue to a light blue, okay? And for this scene here, you guys have two choices, either the dark blue or just the light blue. The reason why you need to just pick one of these two is because in our motion, if you don't pick one of these two and the two colors changes, you're going to see that color changing and it's going to be very cutty looking and it's not going to look smooth. So that's why you have to pick one specific color and go with it. All right. That being said, I just wanted you guys to know that so you guys can figure that out too when you go through this. Once we have this like this, just click OK and then create a new camera 35 millimeters for me but you guys can choose either 50 or more or less click ok once we are here i'm also going to click reset here and i'm going to click on this icon here i'm simply going to move downwards like that and i'm going to move forward with my right click of my button of my mouse i can't even talk <laughs> it's okay once I'm here, I'm not going to create any lights because I just want to show you guys how I created this scene, okay? I'm going to just pre-comp everything and call that pre-comp scene from top. But actually, first, before I do this, I have to make sure that my composition here is at actually 10 seconds, which it is, and that's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and pre-comp it again. And now I will type in ocean scene from top view and click OK. Once we are here, what we have to do is we have to go into the composition and you have to now double your width. So for me, it would be 600 and 600, 76, 80. And that's pretty good right here. Once you have this like that, you have to click here on the pen tool and we have to mask our ocean. 
once let me see and let's make sure we do a good job too as best as we possibly can make sure you do a good job okay mine's gonna look completely horrible click f here and we are simply going to there you go go about uh 200 or so and yeah, that looks pretty good like that and then what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to click here and just bring it over here like this and that looks pretty good like that now once we have it like this then control d to duplicate and then just overlay them as best as you possibly can you can be perfect about this or you cannot be perfect uh, if you guys hear noises of scratching that's my cat right there sammy is you know doing her scratchy scratchy thing if you have cats you know what that is Okay, and that looks pretty good right there. Now, one thing I do need to tell you guys is you have to make sure that how it looks when it starts, it has to kind of look the same how it ends. So the transition is seamless as best as possible, okay? Once we have this, then the next step is just to create a new composition. And we actually have to make sure this one goes back to 1080p or 4K. And once you have that, one you want to make sure is that you bring in this comp right in here and you just drop it so what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna close all these off because I don't need these anymore and I'm going to save there you go and then once we are here let's bring this scene over here and that looks good and then we're gonna click P for position and let's go ahead and start a new keyframe and at about oh i didn't do 10 seconds my bad that was totally 10 minutes <laughs> so i'm gonna go to 10 i'm gonna take it down to 10 seconds here really quick there it is and then I'm going to go to composition and trim to trim comp to work area. Now this is cool because if you if you didn't know you could do it this way, then that's how you do it. And boom, there it is at 10 seconds. Okay. Now halfway, well, even just one second. At one second, I'll probably take it down to about right there. All right, and once I have this like that, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna click Alt on my keyboard, and we're gonna write an expression, okay? And the expression is loop out cycle. And whoa, I need to fix this. All right, and then close it. And if you did a good job, you won't see that yellow band here that tells you you suck. Yeah, which totally sucks when that happens. But if you don't see it, then you did pretty good. So all it's doing, it's moving our scene over and over and over and over. Now, the reason, remember I told you guys to make sure that, um, to make sure that how it starts looks like how it ends is so that during this transition here is totally seamless okay so once you have that like this guys all you have to do is put some blur in there and it creates that very cool look right as if something is going super fast and you don't have to do all that in 3d and it's all a trickery in after effects so if we click our space button it's gonna just move like this over and over and over and over and over and guys that's pretty much it but if you're like man i want it to go faster all right so if you want to go faster and then you just move your keyframe here to right there and then we're just gonna click a space button and there you go now it's going super fast and remember guys once you put in your um, texture in it and you create some lights and you create that very cool glow on the ocean is gonna look pretty cool too okay so this part takes care of the ocean passing through okay guys the next step is to throw in the jet and making it as simple as possible so that this is an easy process which is an easy process so layer new solid call it jet 4k for me or 1080p for you effect video copilot 
element scene setup and create a new folder simply call that jet and import your jet from your folder there it is and once you have that click normalize size and then next go create click on the plane and on the plane make sure you click two-sided plane so you can see the bottom part bring this down to about right there click on this icon here and let's crank it up there it is there's that once we are here let's open this up and take all that glossiness and all that stuff out we don't need that make sure you guys click match shadow here it's going to disappear but when it disappears it's going to create a shadow for us when we throw a light in after effects okay once we are here eventually we're going to make this into group two but for now we just want to see how it looks okay so click okay and the plane's going to show up anytime there it is what you want to do now is go down to group one create null and click that right away it's going to create a null for the jet so let's just rename that null for jet and in that null we're going to be moving a few things around so that we can have the jet where we want it to be which is just like this we are also going to take the uh, scale down to about 20 and what I want to do is I want to use my Y to just move the jet wherever I need it to be which is totally okay here uh, I'm gonna do half here really quick so it's not delaying my computer too much what I'm also gonna do is go into my render settings ambient occlusion I want to crank that up to about four uh, four is too much as you can see maybe two is good I also want to click my shadows and 4k for the shadows crank it up to 4k here as well and from there let's go ahead and create a new light 350 and make sure the cast shadows is on and as you guys can see it's going to do this and what we want to do right here is make sure that we can see our shadow so we need to go into two views and we need to look at see where our light is from the top view the light is right here however our ship is right here so it's not gonna cast a shadow so what we need to do is we need to flip this around and then you need to bring your light over here and now you guys can see we do have the shadow that we want and that's exactly what we need so if you go to full there it is right here just like that and then it's just a matter of you deciding um, you know where you want your shadow to be you know the further you go back the longer your shadow looks and so you know that looks pretty good to me now what we also need to do is to understand that the shadow will only appear when the jet is very close to the ocean so to make sure that we do that we have to make sure that our um, plane is in group two so first we're gonna save and then we're gonna go into group two uh not to group two i'm sorry <laughs> back into our interface here and then we're gonna throw it in group two that's what i meant to say then once you have this like that just click ok and what happened is the plane now is like this and we need it to be you know, like that and so we just have to do two things either you can go in group two and move that by yourself by doing it like this or you can just say you know what i'm just gonna create a null for it and that's exactly what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna call that null for um shadow and i'm simply going to do the same thing just move these around so that it matches are seen properly now now that we are here we just have to look to see where our shadow is and as you guys can see the shadow might be smaller or it might be larger it totally depends on your scene now if you guys say well I want it to be more realistic then it's simple guys just 
move the shadow up or I move it down it's totally up to you guys okay so if you want it to be a little bit bigger that's pretty much all you have to do and what you need to control is the light the light will just decide where things go okay and that's pretty much it for this part here and if you guys want to move things around all you do is you move things around by using the null okay so once again the null were obtained by going through each group and you go toward the bottom and then you go into create group null click create it's going to create a null for you that you will be utilizing to control your 3d uh, models within the scene now you can also control the 3d models using the uh, particle replicator and stuff like that but guys it's very very painful creating a null is the easiest way to control anything 3d okay all right guys this takes care of this scene right here all right guys i hope this tutorial was super helpful for you guys again this scene was created so easily that it might take a while just to get there but once you guys understand the concept it's super easy to put together okay that being said my name is lobo the channel is called zoo pf visual effects if you find this channel to be super helpful for you you guys know what to do sub and like and let your friends know what i do here on this channel okay again guys thank you so much and i will see you guys next time bye bye now